So we're redoing this video. So we basically messed up last time. With last time, the entire plan was to have three coffees made, sorry, six coffees made in a clever drip and to check basically which water, uh, which technique works better. Is it the coffee first or the water first? We got a comment from Abhinav who rightly pointed out that one minute, 26 seconds, we are going to taste it blindly, lol. Well, we did mess up. So we were supposed to taste it blindly, but we went ahead with the shoot and totally forgot how it was supposed to be. It's got that prune cherry. It's more juicy. Oh, so the entire plan was that the coffee will be brewed and I'll be tasting it blindly without me knowing it. But uh, we were trying to figure out with the refractometer and we also messed up with the refractometer because it was not working out as it was not dialed in. So we did not put that as a part of the video. All in all, we basically messed up and we want to do it again so that it becomes a very simple, clear video and the entire message of the video goes across in the way it was supposed to be. So thank you so much for the comment and thank you so much everybody who has put said these things and gave us a feedback. So let's do it again. So two techniques, you add the coffee first or you add the coffee later on top of the water. These two techniques, which one works the best? So the coffees will be brewed. I won't be brewing it. I don't, I wouldn't know which coffee is what, what technique has been used in which and I'll be tasting it blindly the way it was supposed to be. So let's begin. We've got three clevers now uh, and what we're going to do is three clevers will be brewed in different different ways or maybe all three. However, the entire point is we're going to brew it six times out of which three are going to be putting the water first and three are going to be putting the coffee first. So that's how it is. Take three of the same experiment, all right? So four and a half minutes. There you go. What? There you go. What, you brewed tea or what? Okay. Well, the entire point of a clever drip was to make things easy. It doesn't look like now. This is green tea with a different color. Okay, let's have this one. So I'm drinking like plain colored water, it seems. And uh, there's no acidity, there's no fruitiness, there's nothing in the coffee. I don't know what happened. But anyway, to check the taste, this seems good. This seems, this seems okay. This has some, some kind of fruity note. I take that back, there's no fruity note. Okay. It's choked up. So the drawdown is not there. It's very slow drawdown. So I'm sure now this is a different brewing technique, but I don't know which one is it. Now let me taste this again. This is the flattest water that I've ever tasted. It's not even coffee. Okay, let's try this now. Wow, some flavor. So this one has got a fruitier note, a fruitier little fruity note and uh, heavy body for sure. Even the color says that for sure. So yeah, these two coffees are pretty watery, pretty dialed down and this one has got some fruity note to it. It's like a prune, droop fruit. Not a prune, a droop fruit. But yeah, this is different. I would go for this one, at least in round one. Okay, so round two of the blind tasting of this technique. Four minutes 30. That's your black tea. Five minutes. Right, let's taste. That's black old tea. Pretty flat water. 
Oh, by the way, we got a new lamp temporary right now, but yeah. And you should see how it is fixed. Wow. This is nice. This is actually nice. This is watery for sure. I did not like it much. Very, very watery. Seven minutes, huh? Seven minutes, 30 seconds. And the last one. I knew which one it was. Again, it's gonna be a drawdown, which is gonna be slow. So this is a different technique, this is a different technique. These two are the same, this is a different one. So, clearly the winner is this, these two techniques, whatever it was. Wait, 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 let me tell you. This one was coffee first. Finally a good coffee in the morning. Okay, so my guess was right. Now, this is funny. Last time we did, the results were exactly opposite. The results were coffee later was better. Right now, it's very evident that the coffee first is better. Assuming everything was the same. So, that is the conclusion of this experiment so far. That I think these two cups are same. You see, there's a difference, right? For this round of coffee, um, surely the coffee first and water later works. Now, here is the thing. I want you guys to brew it at home and also show upload some video somewhere or the other and share the link in the comment section and let us know exactly how you did that experiment and what your findings were. Because what I'm understanding is that it is depending on the coffee to coffee is some way. I don't know, I mean, what are you doing wrong here? Okay, so anyway, this was an experiment that we wanted to check how the clever drip works with water first or coffee later or coffee first. And we are redoing this video because we got a comment in the comment section that, you know, cupping blindly LOL. So we took that seriously. Thank you so much for that. And this is the experiment we've done. Please put in the comment section what do you think about it and what you have made at home and what your findings are. I hope this is helpful and we have got all these babies in stock now. Cheers guys, have a great one. Please share, subscribe and like. Thank you. Oh,